When an Arizona police officer and father of two responded to a call for suspected child abuse. He had no inkling that his life was about to take a drastic turn. Arriving at the house in question. Little did he anticipate the heart-wrenching scene awaiting him inside. Kingman Police Department Lieutenant Brian Zack. A devoted father himself. Was on duty one night when he received the call. Tasked with performing a welfare check at a nearby residence. Zack approached the situation with his usual professionalism. However. As he crossed the threshold into the home. He was met with a sight that shook him to his core. Inside. He encountered a little girl named Kayla. Just a toddler. Bearing the unmistakable signs of abuse. Her injuries spoke volumes, swollen eyes. Dried blood in her ears. And a tapestry of bruises adorning her fragile face. Despite the pain she endured. Kayla's resilient spirit still shone through. Recognizing the urgency of the situation. Zack knew immediate action was imperative. This wasn't merely a routine call. It was a call to protect an innocent child from further harm. With utmost care. He took Kayla under his wing and transported her to the safety of the police station. The encounter left Zack deeply affected. It wasn't just another day on the job, it was a stark reminder of the harsh realities law enforcement often faces. As he reflected on the ordeal. Zack understood the gravity of his role in safeguarding the vulnerable members of society. Zack recalled how he and Kayla bonded over watching Wreck-It Ralph. Forming a connection that felt profound despite only spending five hours together. Little did he know then that this encounter would lead to something much more significant. He confided in his wife about the little girl he had connected with and expressed his desire to bring her home. Though this wasn't the first time he had expressed such sentiments. Over the years. Zack had encountered many children in abusive situations and had often wished to rescue them from their circumstances. While his wife was accustomed to hearing about his desire to help children. What was different this time was that Kayla would eventually become a part of their family. Despite the familiarity of wanting to provide a loving home to a child in need. The journey to officially adopt Kayla was a lengthy one. Spanning two and a half years before it became a reality. After a representative from the Arizona Department of Child Safety, ACDCS, took Kayla to the hospital for evaluation and treatment of her injuries, Zach couldn't shake thoughts of the little girl from his mind. Concerned about her well-being, he reached out to ACDCS to inquire about visiting her in the hospital. Upon learning that Kayla had been transferred to Las Vegas for further assessment and treatment, Zach requested to be added to the visitor list. Granted permission to see Kayla. Zach wasted no time in making arrangements. Recognizing the potential need for Kayla to stay with them. Zach and his family held a meeting to discuss the possibility of providing her with a temporary loving home. Showing them a picture of Kayla. Zach explained that she might need their care for an unspecified duration. Whether it be a few weeks. A month. Or longer. With unanimous agreement from his family and no willing family members found by the agency. Zach and his wife. Sierra. Stepped forward to offer placement for Kayla. After meeting her on a Saturday night and finalizing arrangements. Kayla was dropped off at their home on a Wednesday night. However. Welcoming Kayla into their family wasn't without its challenges. The Zachs had to quickly procure essentials like a bed. High chair and potty chair. As Kayla arrived with only a bag of ill-fitting clothes and a sippy cup. Over the course of two and a half years. The Zacks cared for Kayla before officially adopting her in 2020. Solidifying their bond and providing her with the stable and loving home she deserved. At four years old. The court finally signed the adoption order. Marking a momentous occasion for Lieutenant Brian Zack and his family. With the legalities settled. Zack felt a weight lift off his shoulders. Knowing that Kayla now had a permanent and loving home. For Zack. It was the best Christmas present he could have asked for. Solidifying Kayla as an official member of their family. Sierra and Kayla echoed Zack's sentiments. Expressing their joy and satisfaction with the outcome. 
Sierra encouraged others to consider fostering and adoption. Emphasizing the profound impact it can have on the lives of children in need. Following Kayla's adoption. The Zacks have plans to renew their foster license and continue helping more children. Despite Kayla's challenging start. She has blossomed in their care, now happy and thriving in a safe and loving environment. Reflecting on Kayla's progress. Zack marveled at her transformation from a child who could barely speak to one who now loves to talk. Her development serves as a testament to the positive impact of a nurturing home environment. In the end, Zack's actions exemplify the compassion and dedication that can make a real difference in the lives of vulnerable children. His story serves as an inspiration for others to follow suit in offering love and support to those in need. After watching this story, what do you think of? Then there is an another story. Let's expect what will happen. The blind mother couldn't hold back her tears as she laid eyes on her newborn son for the very first time. Kathy Bits. 29. From Guelph. Ontario. Who has been living with blindness due to Stargardt disease since she was 11. Was given the incredible opportunity to see her baby boy. Axel. Using a special piece of high-tech eyewear. In a heartwarming YouTube video that has quickly gained viral attention. Kathy's emotional reaction is palpable as she exclaims. Oh my god. Upon holding Axel in her hospital bed and gazing at him for the first time. Observing his tiny features. Like his long toes. Kathy is overcome with awe and joy. Stargardt disease. A genetic condition causing macular degeneration had left Kathy with a blind spot in the center of her vision, rendering her legally blind. However, with the help of innovative glasses developed by the company eSight, Kathy was able to experience a breakthrough in her visual perception. The eSight glasses, equipped with a video camera that enhances images and projects them onto high-definition screens in front of the wearer's eyes, have revolutionized Kathy's ability to see. With the glasses, she can adjust contrast, brightness, and shadow, allowing her to perceive more than she could with her natural eyesight alone. For the first baby that I actually get to look at being my own, it's very overwhelming. Kathy shares with the camera. The moment I got the glasses, I was very ready to put them on. Seeing her son's resemblance to herself and her husband. Kathy expresses gratitude for the family experience of bonding with Axel and falling in love with him. The glasses have profoundly transformed Kathy's life. Making tasks such as caring for her infant and navigating daily activities much easier. Despite the significant cost of $155,000 for the device. eSight offers support through fundraising efforts. Including crowdfunding and advocacy campaigns. Kathy's sister who also suffers from Stargardt disease and works for eSight, played a pivotal role in securing the glasses for her, understanding the challenges of being a blind parent firsthand. Kathy's sister was determined to help her experience the joys of parenthood to the fullest. I knew then I'd be able to read books to the baby and be a part of that experience. Kathy reflects on her anticipation of receiving the glasses. It gave a huge independence to my parenting skills. Indeed. Through the marvels of technology and unwavering support. Kathy's journey into motherhood has been transformed. Proving that even without the gift of sight. Miracles can still happen. Pregnancy holds a unique significance for every expectant mother. And thanks to cutting-edge 3D printing technology. Tatiana Guerra. A blind soon-to-be mother from Brazil was granted the remarkable opportunity to share in the emotional experience of seeing her child during an ultrasound. Much like any sighted mother. At 30 years old, Tatiana had been blind since she was 17 and never imagined she would have the chance to visually perceive her unborn child. However, during a special ultrasound session, her doctor surprised her with a 3D printed rendition of her baby's facial features allowing her to feel the contours and shapes of her son's face, an intimate connection she thought she'd never have. In a touching video produced as part of a campaign by Huggies, 
Tatiana expresses her curiosity about her son's appearance to the doctors. Eagerly anticipating insights into his features. Surrounding her in the ultrasound room is a lovingly prepared nursery. Adorned with cribs. Soft teddy bears. And blankets in serene blue tones, a testament to her anticipation and love for her unborn child. During the ultrasound. Tatiana shares her imaginative vision of her son's appearance. Picturing him with a unique nose and a small mouth. Minutes later. The ultrasound data is transformed into a tangible sculpture using 3D printing technology. Crafting a lifelike representation of her baby's face and tiny arms. As the doctor presents Tatiana with a 3D printed image wrapped in a gentle cloth. He gently asks if feeling the sculpture would help her connect with her son's appearance. Overwhelmed with emotion, Tatiana tenderly explores the contours of the sculpture with her fingertips. Her laughter and tears of joy echoing the depth of her love for her child. This profound moment encapsulates the unbreakable bond between Tatiana and her unborn son. Showcasing the remarkable power of technology to bridge gaps and foster connections. Through the innovative use of 3D printing, Tatiana experienced a cherished glimpse into her son's world. Transcending the limitations of her blindness and embracing the profound beauty of motherhood. Tatiana's face lights up with joy as tears of happiness trickle down her cheeks. With tender fingers, she explores the gentle contours of her unborn baby's face. Expressing her heartfelt gratitude to the doctor. I'm so thrilled to meet Marillo before he's even born. She shares. In the video. Tatiana. Unable to see the ultrasound images. Eagerly asks the doctor to describe her son's features. With gentle reassurance. The doctor paints a picture of Marillo's appearance. Mentioning his nose resembling hers and his closed eyes. Tatiana then shares her imaginative vision of her son. Envisioning him with a nose akin to a little potato and small cherubic hands. The scene transitions to a mobile 3D printing station. Where the ultrasound images are transformed into a tangible model of Marillo's face. As the doctor presents the 3D printed representation to Tatiana. She is overwhelmed with emotion. Tracing the delicate features of her son with tender fingertips. The video concludes with a reflection on the transformative journey of pregnancy. Highlighting the deep bond between mother and child. It also touches on the scientifically proven mommy brain effect. Which strengthens this connection. This heartwarming video is the first of several ads featuring blind expectant mothers experiencing the joy of seeing their babies through 3D printed images. In another touching example. Taylor Ellis born with limited vision, was moved to tears when doctors surprised her with a special ultrasound that created a 3D printout of her unborn daughter's face during her 20-week scan. These poignant moments underscore the power of technology to create meaningful connections and bring immense joy to blind mothers-to-be. Taylor, a 26-year-old mother of three, and her husband Jeremy, who is also visually impaired, received a special scan by mail. A week later, they were able to feel their baby's face, an experience they described as a dream come true. Their daughter, Rosalie, now 10 weeks old, has brought immense joy to their lives. Taylor highlighted the transformative impact of 3D printing technology, typically used for manufacturing car parts, on their lives. Johns Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore. Known for using this technology to create models of unborn babies with spina bifida. Made history by extending its use to help blind parents like Taylor. As a stay-at-home mother from Caucusville, Maryland. Taylor shared her emotional journey. Expressing her longing to visually experience her baby's face. Receiving the 3D ultrasound was a heartwarming moment for her. She vividly remembers the realization that she was feeling her baby's face. A moment she eagerly shared with her daughters and parents over video chat. In another heartwarming story. Jessica Salivar. A mother of two born blind. Had her children at Denver Health. Where she experienced natural childbirth. Denver Health. 
proud to deliver one-third of all babies born in Denver. Offers a range of birthing experiences tailored to each mother's preferences. Jessica appreciated the supportive environment and skilled staff. Emphasizing her desire to experience childbirth like any other mother. Denver Health's commitment to personalized care extends to providing labor support techniques. Including certified nurse midwives and volunteer doulas. Ensuring mothers feel relaxed and focused throughout their birthing experience. Certified registered nurse anesthetists are also available for mothers who opt for pain management. These stories underscore the importance of innovative technology and compassionate healthcare providers in making childbirth a memorable and empowering experience for all mothers. Regardless of their unique circumstances, Denver Health has provided an invaluable support system for Jessica Salivar allowing her to appreciate the beauty of natural childbirth. She reflected on the understanding and empathy she received from Denver Health, emphasizing her gratitude for their role in her journey. Jessica now entrusts the care of her two boys to Denver Health for their pediatric primary care, highlighting her unwavering confidence in the institution. She expressed profound appreciation for what she calls her two-mile-high miracle, a testament to the exceptional care she received. In another heartwarming story, a two-year-old girl, Nkoi Pereira, experienced a life-changing moment following miracle surgery in the U.S. Born deaf and blind due to infant glaucoma, Nkoi was overjoyed to see and hear her mother, Diana. For the first time, Diana was left speechless and tearful, overwhelmed by the long-awaited moment. Nkoi's newfound abilities have transformed her life shining brighter than ever before and inspiring those around her. Infant glaucoma. A rare genetic condition affecting approximately 1 in 10,000 children. Had distorted Nkoi's vision due to excess fluid buildup in her eyes. Initially, doctors hesitated to take on her case due to its severity. But they ultimately decided to proceed with treatment. Now, Nkoi can hear her mother's voice. Sing her favorite nursery rhyme. Twinkle twinkle little star. And stand on her own. Nkoi will continue to receive follow-up care in Brazil. Where medical professionals from BASEM will provide ongoing treatment and training in the latest techniques for managing her condition. Her remarkable progress serves as a beacon of hope and a reminder of the transformative power of medical intervention. Nkoi's journey will continue with her next examination scheduled in Basim in a year's time. That's all about our story. If you like this story, please like and subscribe to the channel. And see you in the next story.